Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Money B, part of the AOTClan.net community. I'll be showing you today how to report a bug if you see on their Modern Warfare 2 server. So, the first website you're going to want to go to is AOTClan.net slash bugs. It was recently put up by uh, Farzad. If, you, if you're having trouble figuring out uh, what this link is, um, I'm pretty sure there will be one, there will be a link down in the description or uh, you can go check out AOTClan.net and go to the news and announcement section. The thread is called Bugs. The first post is where the link is. So, Right now on your screen, or on my screen, you can see we got a Mantis up. This is the program that they're using to uh, report how bugs are. You're going to see a username, a password, remember login in this browser and secure a session. Now, more than likely you're just going to keep to one account with supporting bugs, but since I already have an account, I'm going to show you how to do it really easily. If you are new to Mantis or new to the community, you're going to want to go down here to sign up for a new account, and then it'll ask you username, email, and I, I know I didn't read the bottom of here. Make sure you read it. When you fill out all this correct info, it'll send a password to your, uh, it'll send you to a, it'll send you an email with a link in it. Go to that link. It'll allow you to set a password, and then it will then you can you get the account so make sure you check your email after you make the account so I'm gonna log in real quick now what I really like about this system is you get XP reported for this and it looks like it's been a lot cleared up a lot by Farzad so make sure to thank th thank Farzad, Sep, and Russian they, they've done a great job with coding everything especially the Modern Warfare 2 mod I feel like they don't get enough uh, they don't get enough claim or enough appreciation for like two to three months worth of coding so make sure to thank them every now and then again and especially this this is really like organized and it even separates what you've submitted so I mean this is just really cool so on your right side of your screen right here with all the color coding this is all the reports that have been uh excuse me all the ports that have been submitted so far as you can see I've already uh reported to myself and then there's a lot been reported already on the left side of the screen these are all the reports that have been uh, resolved, as in all the bugs have been fixed by the great coders over by Farzad or SEP. So what you're going to do is when you figure out the bl bug, you're going to go to Report Issue. It's up here at the top. There's a bunch of different, uh, def bu bunch of different buttons, but you're going to go to Report Issue. For Category, you're going to put Modern Warfare 2. And then for severe, uh, re Reproducibility, you're going to put whatever, you, like, let's say you've, you've done it once, maybe. Then you might want to put have not tried. You've tried it multiple times and it's always the same thing. Always, sometimes, maybe it does it once or twice every like three times you do it. So sometimes, etc., etc. Just pick which which one uh, it affects. For severity, let's say there's a huge like bug saying that, oh, you get a nuke within the first five seconds of the game. Then yeah, that's probably a major uh, major severity with there. But if it's like a little thing, like I know I submitted a couple of care packages. They weren't even that... Uh, or even that big, maybe you want to do feature or even minor. So make sure you don't overhype your bug. If it's really important, make sure to na make it important. But if it isn't, don't worry about it. Priority, um, same same thing as deal as the above. For summary, just put something simple so that they don't have to read like the entire bug. Like like for me, I already did care package glitches. So just put like I know there's been a lot of care packages. So just put like whatever you feel like something's nice and short not a huge summary description make sure to write down everything that applies don't let them don't have them message you just because they don't understand what you're writing make sure to make it nice and clear what is wrong and then if you want to uh... put this is probably help them to reproduce it but if it's something that you know it's really easy to f solve don't worry about it um, upload file i believe this can be done with uh... screenshots or a uh, a video maybe you recorded on fraps or something and then that's about it you go to once you submit everything it's gonna go submit port and then you go back to the main and it should be down here to view all the issues is view issues up at the top it's pretty self-explanatory everything but those of you that are new to this you might have some problems figuring out what to do so thank thanks Farzad I would highly suggest to thank Farzad for everything he's done especially with this mod he's done so much and I mean, look at all these tick like bugs he has to go through. Him and Sep, I mean, they're both equally really uh, they're both really uh, 
hard workers, and I think that they deserve all the credit they can get. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure to register on our forums. Keep po keep posting daily on the AOTClan.net. Come check out the server on Counter Strike, one of the most creative and well coded mods ever played on. So, thanks again for watching, guys. Take care.